What's up, Walter family? It's Abraham, lead instructor here at South Coast Warden Academy. And today we got a special guest. We got Jacob Schofield. He's gonna be working on a 5G pipe today. Let's do it. All righty, Jacob. Are you ready or what? I'm ready, man. First things first, before we even go to this, what you're gonna be working on what, by the way? Is the 5G pipe test. 5G pipe yep. test, downhill. Your bell hole, that's what they're gonna call it, bell, bell hole. hole. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. But before we go to that, I want you to let these people know where you came from, how you started, and your channel. All right, all sounds right. good. First of all, how often do you see Hamar not in a welding shirt? <laughs> not very <laughs> often, right? <laughs> not very but often. So. Anyways, well, so I am from Idaho, born and raised, first generation welder Sweet. for my family. Nice. And um, man, I tell you, I got involved in it. I was down in Texas, lived in Texas for a few years. Sweet. And was a horse trainer, and then I just fell into it. I roped with a dude that was a welder his brother needed a helper so i come out as a helper oh nice and nice, that's, nice that's how i started into it and then i was a helper for a year got tired of helping and um went saved all my money put a rig together and just started welding been in the oil and gas industry now for eight years eight years now yep. well thank you boy yeah not so, quite a veteran but not quite an amateur yet <laughs> there either, you go so that's, that, good. that's good that's good <laughs> Horses, man. Horses? Yep. yep nice. Sure. Nice. Yes, that, especially here in Texas, that's very common. You oh, see yeah. horses riding all, all over the place. <laughs> but that's good, man. That's good. So you started, you've been pipelining for how long? Uh, been pipelining. So I pipelined about seven years. Seven years. And I've been on batteries and facilities, refineries. Nice, nice. Going on, you know, well, probably not quite seven years, but I've been doing the batteries and stuff for about two. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Cool, sweet, sweet. So wh okay. how, how I know... Uh, Schofield is because of his channel. You know, I've been seeing his channel too. It's been growing tremendously as well. You know, he does a day in the life of what he does, especially in the main line or compressor stations, whatever the case may be, he shows you real life welding. So let him know about your, your, your welding channel, man. Oh. Where can they follow you and also talk about it? Schofield Welding, you can go right on Schofield Welding. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, just branching out to everything if we can, you know, nice. just to get it, get it out there. But um, basically it's just a day in the life of what I do every day, so. Mm. Got a lot of people that ask questions about the oil and gas industries mm -hmm. and whatnot. And if you're not in it, then it's hard to see what's going on. So I kind of try to bring you into what I do every day. Nice, nice, so. nice. Well, there you go, there you have it. Jabe is gonna take the lead from here. I'm gonna get out the way. Again, he's working on the bell hole, 5G's, uh, 6010, 5P plus, 1 8th rod or, uh, or 532? 8th eight, eight inch. 8th inch rod, okay, he's gonna go, go to town, let you know everything right there from there. So I'm gonna let him take over. I appreciate y'all, Jacob. Thank you, sir. There. Appreciate, All right, appreciate it. you. All right, you guys. We are getting right down into a 5G pipe test. All right. Now, this is one of the most common pipe tests to practice right when you're beginning. So, I usually have most of my helpers start on this test. This is what we work on. This is what we perfect. And then we move into the 6G. So, some companies are going to have you take a 5G pipe test. It's just depending on what the procedure is. On this test right here though, uh, I took, oh, I don't know, maybe just a little under an eighth inch gap, about an eighth inch land, and I, I only run two tacks in this smaller pipe. So six inch pipe, I always run two tacks, and then I leave one side just a little bit bigger than the other, and I'll run the big side first because it'll pull that other side, and then when you get over to this side, it's right where you need it. Um, on something bigger like 12 inch, I'm gonna go ahead and run four tacks on it. But we're gonna get started into this. We're gonna run this with an eighth inch 5P plus 6010 rod, um, both sides, and then go from there. So we're actually going on to an SA200 weld machine. So my pride and joy, my, my, my love is the SA200s. And I've been running a Miller for a while, but I love my Miller too. But we got lucky and we got us a 200 right here. Let's get started. Damn. So can I talk during this?
around. Okay guys, this is a 5G capped and done. So hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit. You were able to kind of see the inside, the outside, and give you a couple tips. All right, you guys, there you have it. The, the bell hole, the 5G um, pipe test. So guys, thank you for hanging out with us. Subscribe to Schofield Welding, and thank you to WeldTube for letting us come out here and do this. So thank you guys. See ya. Cut. That's it, that's a wrap. Cut. That's a wrap.